Hey what's up guys, welcome to this second informed Jagielka squad builder showing you the best squad that just plays amazingly well for second informed Jagielka now make sure you do follow me on Twitter and subscribe below if you haven't already we kick off in goal, we start the squad with Hugo Lloris a really good, really effective cheap goal goalkeeper that is just incredible in the game saves everything At right back we have Kyle Walker He's quick. You need quick sort of players in this defence to make up for Jagielka's lack of pace. Now we have Jagielka and his second in form card. Wow, what an absolute beast he is. If you haven't seen my review on him, it's a really in-depth look at how he plays. Please go check that out. That is on the channel. But as you can see just on his stats, on his base card stats, 87 defending and 86 physicality. What a player. He is an absolute brick wall in defence. And if you partner him with quick players around him, like you see in this video with Koscielny and Walker, you will have no problems with his pace at all, I promise you that. Koscielny's 81 pace and decent defending, you know, really adds to this defence. Very difficult to get through. At left back we have Moreno. Again, he fits with that mould of good defenders, good bit of pace, you know, players who can pass the ball out. And it's a really solid defence. Now, the midfield is even solider. This is all about power and strength. And a bit of everything, really. Players with that sort of style. And obviously, Yaya Toure fits into that perfectly. A very similar and a cheaper Yaya Toure, if you would. We have Suzoko and his improved new card. Fits perfectly within this team. He can do everything. He's very similar to Yaya Toure. If you haven't got the coins for Torre but you have for Zoko. you're not going to be far off let's put it that way and completing the midfield trio of players who can pretty much do everything defend attack pass create Rooney is the prime example of that you know his defending isn't great but with 87 physicality obviously it feels like he's very very good at defending as well as obviously his incredible you know sort of attacking qualities that he has at left forward well, left wing even, I should say. We have Yannick Balassi and his inform card. Five-star skills, great pace, great physicality. This team is full of physicality. They're a big bruising team with good amounts of pace. And, and that just makes them so effective. They're always in good positions as well. You know, Cabela fits into that role as well. Good pace, good technical dribbling. He doesn't have quite the physicality that the others have. But he is a very good player and will chip in with some good goals and good assists. That is no doubt. Four-star four weak foot, four-star skills. Nice high-medium work rates. The work rates are really well balanced on this team. And we finish it off with the man that is Sergio Aguero. He's phenomenal on this game. He scores so many goals. It is unreal. Great pace, great shooting, great dribbling. As you can see, he scores more goals than he plays games for me. Four-star weak foot, four-star skills again. Overall, this team is packed with physicality, with pace, and with technical ability. You know, all of the defenders can pass the way out. They've all got great strength, good defending, and, you know, apart from Jagielka, they have got really good pace. Now, it's important to pack that around him, because really, that's the only negative on the card. But overall, what a team this is. I was unstoppable with this team, guys. Honestly, really, really good to play with. Jagielka for 40,000 coins. I don't think you can go wrong. His price may go up a little bit, but he is well worth the investment. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and peace.